In this episode, we're going to revisit the quick access toolbar and look at some of the other ways in which we can reconfigure the toolbar to meet our specific needs. In the previous episode, we saw how with the quick access toolbar, we could access the configuration screen by going into the flower and then clicking on options, which opens the options dialog box. So here on the left are all the commands that we can choose from, either that aren't already in the ribbon or by looking at the various areas within P design so such as shapes outline and all of the various options and commands that are available to us over on the right hand side is what our current quick access toolbar contains so you can see this as you scan along here you'll see that I have new open save and some others such as straight block and all the way down to line color line so type and so on as you can see here how do we add move and remove icons that we want or don't want so that's really quite straightforward so for example at the end here I have a separator this little bar here so if I wanted to add a new icon or a new command so for example let's say I wanted something that was immediately available to me to export data to scan and cut all I do is I go and choose the command scan and cut export and then click on the add button and the icon appears then in my list of commands or icons what if I didn't want it at the end well I select the icon that I or command that I want to rearrange and then I can move it up and down to place it exactly where I want in this case I want it at the end there but let's add import so I have export and I have import. So I would prefer import to be before export. So I just click this button here, which moves it up to that area. Let's assume I've finished the ones for scan and cut. And now I want to go to new section. I can add a separator and, and I can carry on in this way. So once you're finished, just click the OK button and if we have a look at the quick access toolbar we can now see I have an import and I have an export when you hover over the icon a little tooltip appears so in this case save cutting data as an FCM file or send it to canvas workspace so that's one way of customizing the quick access toolbar Another way is to add the icon or the command from the ribbon itself. So let's, for example, add auto punch to the quick access toolbar. If I right click on the icon, I can see there's an option to add to quick access toolbar. If I click that, it adds that in this case auto punch wizard to the end of the quick access toolbar so let's go ahead and put photo stitch one or photo stitch two let's do photo stitch one quick access toolbar add to it and there you have the access to the photo stitch wizard sitting now within the quick access toolbar now, having added these icons to the end of the quick access toolbar, you might wish to rearrange them. So how do we do that? There's the customize quick access toolbar drop down here and we can 
click on the more commands which will take us back to the options or we can right click on this empty part of the quick access toolbar and the customize quick access toolbar takes us back to exactly this place. So as you've seen there are numerous ways of getting to the quick access toolbar options so just to recap up here we have the flower and we can go down to options which will open that window we can go to the quick access toolbar right click and we can customize quick access toolbar we can use the customize quick access toolbar here and go to more commands which will open exactly the the same item so let's just go back to customize quick access toolbar by right clicking and here we have right at the end these additional items that we've added now for example say we wanted to we didn't want the photo stitch one wizard we can actually remove that and if we wanted to have in fact photo stitch wizard 2 again we can just find that in the image tab and click add which will add it to the end and again if we want to move that we select it and move it to where we want it so once we're happy click OK and there you have it those commands are now added and so if I want to access the auto punch wizard at any time all I have to do is click on this icon here and the dialog box to open an image file will appear as it normally would so alternatively we would have to click on image and then auto punch to do exactly the same so it just saves a click it means that the things that you want to do the most are right in front of you if you found this video to be useful I'd appreciate if you could give it a like which helps with the YouTube algorithm and please consider subscribing to see more of these videos. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.